Oh, Tara Lakshmi. Restless eyed girl. When will the time come when I can offer you sweet drinking water? Uh. Tented with fresh roses and camphor. For flushing your mouth along with a twig for brushing your teeth. I will start reading the notes from the second paragraph. The pain of separation doubles during the revelation that comes forth from Anurag and in this manifestation one feels a festival of bliss that is committed by all Therefore, when Swamini is Viyogini separated, she is also Samyogini united. She is always Krishna Mai, absorbed in Krishna. When he stares at me from the corners of his ruddy eyes, he throws out a fish hook that pulls at my heart. There is no way to fathom, to understand the joy and or distress she feels from this pulling. Pure transcendental sweetness can be relished when it is pressed out by feelings of separation. Gradually and shockwise, Shama's crystallized sound, touch, form, taste, and smell can be relished then. What if these are the Pushpa Banaya, right? Touch, sound, smell, taste. Then, but, yeah. No, no, nothing to explain. I was just uh, by listening, feeling that this the fish hook that he is sending is the the when we chant Kama Gayatri, these uh, arrows of love, and when he is sending them, or when Swamini is sending them to him as we have heard also from Gurudi, that this is vice versa. She is sending her love arrows into his direction when he is fainting, and he also is sending his love arrows. And these are the different uh, experiences of taste, smelling, touching, hearing, the, you know, experiencing the transcendental touch of Kamati. Yeah. And Maharaj, you also said, huh? So, Suniti, Didi, explain nicely. 
Banaya. Krishna has Pushpa, Banaya. Krishna has five kinds of arrows. Also, we could be understand Radha may have five kind of flower like arrows. That flower represents five kind of senses. Uh, seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, and touching. So Krishna also felt Radha Rani's five kind of uh, you know, taste, rasa. Then he like uh, thrilled. He like uh, completely in ecstasy and sometimes fainted. And Radha Rani also, same thing. Here, Krishna's fruit, sometimes Krishna's Go, uh, fragrance, uh, Krishna's beautiful Tribanga Larita home, Krishna's uh, touching, Krishna sometimes kissing, so Krishna, Krishna's Adara Murita, Radha's yeah. thing. And then, <laughs> then Radha <Radharani> completely, <laughs> you know, Sometimes in ecstasy, sometimes she also fainted. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Suniti Didi remember these Kama Gaitri's bus. Rade Rade. Dev, um, say something. Can you make it in picture? I know she. Rasa. Yeah. yeah, three more. When he will inspire, he will share. Yeah. He was saying something, but we cannot hear. Dave Pran, we cannot hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Or loudly. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, this is a beautiful verse and uh, I'm very thankful that we can listen to such kata and uh, I have to say that uh, this uh, bhava, this rasa, we can only get from a pure Vaishnava, a rasika bhakta, which is very rare. So only a drop of this nectar, only a drop of this bhava can change one person's life. And if we get such experience like Suniti Didi was explaining, uh, touch, smell, then what to say, what, what kind of, what kind of uh, elevation can we experience from this? This will certainly change our spiritual life. If we only stay on the Vaidhi, on the, on the Vaidhi, Vaidhi Bhakti platform, in the long run we can see that uh, without rasa, it's not possible to stay in spiritual path. So we need this rasa, we need this experience. We need this personal experience and uh, this will keep our spiritual life alive. Yeah, oh, very nice. When he stares at me from the corners, of his ruddy eyes, he throws out a fish hook that pulls at my heart. There is no way to understand 
the joy or distress she feels from this pulling. Pure transcendental sweetness can be relished when it is pressed out by feelings of separation. Gradually and shockwise, Shyama's crystallized sound touch form taste and smell can be relished then slowly and with interruptions swamini relishes this Radhe Radhe. Very good. Yeah. Very good. 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 Tara Lakshi. Uh-huh. Or fickle eyed girl in this verse. The sweetness of clearly seeing Krishna enlivens the eyes. even endlessly sweet shama sundar is fully subdued when he sees the natural sweetness of radhika's glances ora sundar coming ora yes one more three the full look okay All glories to Radha's supremely victorious sidelong glance. Which with its sweetness makes the beauty of the most splendid of blue lotus flowers will and which with its playfulness conquers even Madhu's enemy Krishna who was himself garlanded by the goddess of victory victorious in the three worlds yeah oh. The sakis and manjaris know everything seeing the beauty of Tara Lakshmi's eyes they choke with her with her as they were doing when she first fell in love with Krishna Saki Radhe Who has stolen your heart? Tell us the truth. You are not so eager anymore as before to read books or to teach your parrots eloquent verses. We never hear you gossiping or choking with your friends anymore. how beautifully you are now playing your veena where has this all gone now yes. 
you're going in and out of your house a hundred times in half an hour. Your mind is very agitated. Almira. Your mind is very agitated and you breathe deeply as you gaze at the Kadam Kadamba forest. Rai, how have you become like this? You are not even afraid of your wicked superiors. Have you become possessed by a ghost or so? You don't stop the edge of your sari from constantly moving in a restless way, betraying your own restless mood. You may sit down, but then you become startled and get up again making your ornaments fall off in the shock. You are an adolescent girl, a princess, and you are married as well. I don't understand which desire is increasing your anxiety. When I study your behavior, I think that you're stretching your hand out to the moon. You are trying to achieve the impossible. Chandida sings. I think you have fallen into Kaliya's, Krishna's trap. When the Sakis see the beauty of Tara Lakshi's restless eyes, they choke in so many ways saying, Oh, Saki, it seems as if Vana Mali, Krishna, who wears a garland of forest flowers, has stolen the jewel of your mind. After Pava Mai. Radhe Radhe. I'm sorry. I would like to say something, if you allowed me. My God. Because <laughs> everyone <laughs> has. You are giving mercy to us by saying. No, Gurudev. It's you are giving me. us. I would like, because it's something came to my mind, actually that this humor and joking mood, which we were just listening, how Manjaris and Sakis are expressing and talking to Radharani, actually is very nice rasa 
it's not it's a secondary rasa it's not primary rasa but it's it is a gradient which helps to main rasa be churned and intensified so we can see the main rasa staibab in radhika in manjaris is actually madhurya rasa generally to say but this secondary rasas which Prabhupada very nicely explained quoting also Rupa Goswami and other Acharyas are helping the main rasa to be more sweet, more relishable, more tasteful. And this joking is full of love, full of pretty. Without pretty, this joking will be very, very ordinary. Beca but because the pure love is present in the heart of Radhika's Sakis and Manjaris, this kind of joke is very sweet and very, very relishable. And different lilas are going around these jokes, helping the main bhava to be more intense. There is also other secondary rasas, which are helping to increase the main rasa, like a fear, like, uh, I don't know, proudness, jealousness. This is variation, even gustfulness. And Acharyas are helping us to feel this deep differences so that we can go deeply in our meditation and understanding with our heart what's going on actually but the main ingredients is a pretty is a prema without this all this joking all this fear all this I don't know, I forgot this, manas, they will not have effect, they will be material. And to relish this, importance of relishing true spiritual identity is a key point, not through the materialistic consciousness, bodily consciousness and so on because if we try to understand and to relish through materialistic bodily consciousness then it will be very very untasteful and very light lightly understanding understandable so these secondary rasas are also very important and they are very often mentioning in the verses in the commentaries so that sensitive devotees can relish this and go deeper and deeper in their own rasa rather i just wanted to say this because Prabhupada inspired me so many times because in many places in Chaitanya Charitamrita he emphasizes importance of these different subordinate secondary feelings. Yeah. 
Radio, radio, good. Very beautiful. Can I say a little bit, Gurudev? Yeah, yeah, very, very. We have to ask from all of you. Yes. <laughs> so, so, after uh, after hearing Dorang Sundar Prabhu and uh, this harsha rasa, like uh, some joking, sometimes, you know, sometimes laughing. And this rasa is actually madura rasa. So, like uh, in, in Baikunta, there's so much awe and reverence, so much Aishwara Baba there. So, therefore, in this kind of joking mood and laughing mood is might be missing. But uh, in Buraja, this mood is quite uh, quite common, and Krishna love it. Sometimes Krishna love Gopi's criticism. So this is like a Saki Manjari, it, it, they are joking to Radharani. Why you are so, so, uh, it's not, uh, not steady. You are, why so you are upset? You are so in anxiety. Are you, are you waiting for somebody or are looking for something? You know, like, uh, so they're kind of, so joking, that's joking and, uh, Kind of a little bit uh, like uh, what is say like a ridicule, and sometimes this this lasa become more opulent and more intimacy mood is increasing, and this Radha Moha likes this mood, that kind of. Family mood or intimacy mood. So this mood, especially Lashka Vaishnava, is enjoying uh, this mood. And if we are too much uh, over reverence, we may not understand uh, this feeling. Therefore, Gurudeva's Gurudeva's many times stressing. Feeling, feeling, feeling. Please share your feeling. So this is a, so very nice inspiration. Thank you very much. When the Sakis see the beauty of Tara Lakshi's restless eyes. They choke in so many ways, saying, Oh, Saki, it seems as if Vana Mali, Krishna, who wears a garland of forest flowers, has stolen the jewel of your mind. After Bhava Mai Radhika and her friends have relished the nectar of Krishna's lips, Tulasi brings drinking water, scented with camphor and fresh roses, with which they can flush their mouths. Tulasi's pure love gives the water an extra flavor. The manjaris 
are love personified. What to speak of the kinkaris? The whole Rajadham is the kingdom of love. Therefore, Thakur Bilva Mangala spoke to the Lord as follows. O oh Krishna, your lotus feet can only be conquered with love. Yeah. Otherwise, how could you blissfully roll around on the muddy courtyards of the cow herders? Whereas you hesitate even to look for a moment at the pure and clean altars of the Brahmanas. How can you sh shout at the mooing cows and bulls of Vrindavan, running after them while you remain silent towards the sages that pronounce Sama Veda mantras? in the Tapovana. And how can you become the humble servant of the young girls of Gokula, praying to them to place their feet on your head? Whereas you remain deaf to the anxious prayers of the self-controlled saints who pray to you to become their master. master. The Brahma. saints the brahmanas pray to Krishna to become their master, that Krishna becomes their master. O oh Krishna, from all this, I can understand that only the pure love of Raja can capture your lotus feet. Yeah. Radhe Radhe. I think this is a nice place to stop a little bit. Because Baba is putting Bil Vamangala's words about different bhavas which Krishna is changing in Vrindavana. But before, he said one very nice sentence. Tulasi's pure love gives the water an extra flavor. And then he continues. Manjaris are love personified. What to speak of the Kinkaris? So, we can see that in a subtle way, Baba is trying to provoke sadakas who are listening to ask themselves, what is the difference between Manjaris and Kinkaris? 
we always speak about Manjari Baba, Manjari Baba, Manjari Baba. And sometimes we said King Kharis. And many times Gurudev actually explained this difference between Manjaris and Kinkaris. Maybe some Gurudev or Jayananda or Suniti or someone else can continue. I'll just put this subject a little bit because I don't want you hmm? Yeah, me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Radhe, Radhe. <clears throat> Manjaris and Kinkaris are Radha Dasis. All of them. And Manjaris has have their specific nature and seva, specific seva. And they are always hankering to do this seva. They are very eager and eagerly praying, when will that time come when I can do this seva? my seva. And they are very awake and waiting and watching when this time will come to do my specific seva. Which Radhika, through my Guru Manjari, gave to me. And the kinkaris are pretty different from manjaris because they are not waiting the time for their specific seva. They want to do any seva, every seva, because that is their nature. And if there is no seva, they want to help others, as I understand, to, their, to do their own seva. This is one difference. And the, another difference, which is coming from this, is they don't wait that Radhika is telling them. Yeah, yeah. Do this, do this, do that. No, even before Radhika, they know what to do. They are always one step in front of Radhika. <laughs> they know her heart even better than she knows her heart. Yeah. And they are so expert in serving and feeling their she, her feelings that this kind of tadatmiya helps them to be expert expert most expert maid servants yeah. and there we can see in the verses when ragunata like a perfect king curry. Yeah. Very often he is saying King Karom or something like that. What is next? What is next? What I can do? I don't want to wait my superiors, Sakis, Manjaris, or Radhika to tell me what to do. I don't want to wait. I don't yeah. have a time to wait. I always have to serve. Yeah. And I just want to conclude this 
actually there's a millions, as I understood, Guru Dev, there's a millions and millions, millions of manjaris. But there is no so much kinkaris. Yeah. And when the jiva got the opportunity to have very close relationship with someone who is already kinkari, this is the only opportunity how this simple jiva can become kinkari. Yeah. To be infused from the kinkari's heart, then yeah. all emotions, all thoughts, all conceptions will be installed in this person. But the jiva has to have strong, strong, strong desire to be kinkari. So, uh, and kikariyas are, like you said, Gurudev, I heard from you, are the smallest. So, yeah. They serve everyone in all circumstances. And if we cannot follow with our heart the feelings of kinkari, we cannot go deeper in understanding what's going on between Radha and Krishna. Yeah. So we need the mercy of Kinkaris. Radha. I'm sorry. You I interrupted first. too Maybe. much. Thank you, Gauranga Baba. Radha, Radha. Гавинда Махини, включите, пожалуйста, микрофон, вас не слышно. Давно, с самого начала. Я уже писала в чат. Excuse me, can you unmute your microphone? Ina Bagdashan. She was asking Govinda Mohini to turn on her microphone. Mm. Yes. Yeah. After taking Prashada, Srimati and her girlfriends get up to wash their hands and mouths. The kinkaris have arranged for scented water for washing the hands, a lota, a stool, a spittoon, twigs for brushing the teeth, and scented clay for washing the hands. Fortunate Tulasi can wash Swamini's hands while another kinkari pours the water. The mental service of the sadhaka devotees yeah. will become very nice when they hear and chant the descriptions of these expert services of the acharyas. The mental service 
of the sadhaka devotees will become very nice what when they this? what does this mean read this line the mental service of the sadhaka devotees will become very nice when they hear and chant the descriptions of these expert services of the acharyas jananda maharaj explains it. So this sadaka devotee is not by the sadaka devotees. Raganuga sadaka devotees, here especially someone who is practicing a manjari baba or kinkari baba. So Raganuga bhajan is like a mental service or say mental feeding service <laughs> so if we hear uh, expert service of acharyas like uh, here ragnata das goswami pada also uh, anandas babaji maharaji also give us uh, so much detail in in description so if we hear and chant <coughs> this description of uh, seva of uh, Nietzsche said that devotee or someone who is perfected devotees. Then that feeling also come into our heart and mind. Also sometimes naturally we could meditate in that Seva and feeding. And then that feeling and our feeling become like one. And in that sense, we become like a tadatmika. So that time our mood of manjari is is enlivening uh, more alive our swarupa besh our spiritual body is kind of more uh how to say more uh, say like uh, forming or like a uh, kind of manifesting or become more 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 clear so therefore for our meditation this acharya's uh, description also acharya's feeling we also we want to adopt it we want to take in our, our feeling so therefore uh, same we are we, sh we should hankering uh, same mood of devotee same mood uh, Lashka Vaishnava's association 
we needed. Especially that Rashika Vaishnavas during Rashika Vaishnavas association hearing this Ragnata Das Goswami, Torashi Manjari, or Lati Manjari's feeling, or Rash, uh, this Torashi Manjari's seva, then our feeling, our imagination, our meditation become more tasteful and more uh, mature. So this, I don't know, I have no <laughs> realization. I just say like this, good day. Can I say something? This is what mind business. Huh? My, our disturbance starts from the mind. And if mind is not in bhajan with, uh, is not getting any direction, then our false ego never leave us. Rag Bhakti has to be, when some mind has to be free from the false ego. And this mind cannot be able to want to leave the false ego, don't want to leave to mind. So this is the only pra practice to by the bhajan, to this mind has to meditate in right direction, in spiritual direction, not in meditative direction. So this way, Acharyas give me this way that this uh, mind has to be pure out of the false ego. And this way, easy to realize that. And if the mind is impure and mixed up with the material condition, we cannot see it. Mind create doubts in our life, and that it will become a long way to identify my self and my real identification. So this mind has to be with bhajan, makes us empty, humble, bhajan, and the meditation of the past time, both is together, works than the Bhajan become tasteful and radishing. You see, I see in Japan, all Japanese are chanting, it's two, three years old, young boys, girls, they all have a Japan. I'm surprised to see them. How they get the test? Because you put him, give this test inside, and they are meditating also. I am watching when they come, your disciples, I see this. This taste developing. Name makes name and a smaran of the pastime, both are very important. Bhajan Kriya. Kriya is happening at the time of bhajan. This is the beauty of meditation in the Leela pastime of Acharya's realization. So this is the only way. Why not test comes to the chanting? Why? Because my mind is that time going out for some other things. So test is not good. And when mind will be with you in the name, the Bhajana Kriya, when a Kriya is also in the favor to the bhajan, then you see how test will increase. Uh, maybe Suniti wants to share something. 
Beautiful, Guri. Just counting uh, the blessings to go deeper in this subject and to become friend with the mind, as you always say, that the mind will agree and the mind and the heart will agree to go into the past time and go into the Swarup and remember the colors and the meaning of the colors. Remember my form and remember that this is the truth, not only a dream, that we can connect to it every minute, every second by grace and that we help each other in a beautiful way to remember this. This is the mercy that we have. We are trying to live in this mercy. And if I forget, then I just try to pray and ask for help. And all the kinkaris are so merciful. They are always sweet and they are love personified, just like Swamini is love personified. So we have all reasons to be very hopeful and to be very happy. And I just thank you so much for sharing beautiful things of your heart and your meditation. It's a beautiful day to do this today also the Christmas day. Today, Gurudev said that Jesus actually is in his Swarup. He is in his relationship as a son to the father. And hey, Shamala, Shamali, look at this young girl coming for Christmas. So we are so happy today about the sharing going so deep. Thank you very relishing and satisfying and naturally full of love. I also have no deep realization, but I have a hope. And I know that I am in the right association. And all of you inspire me so much so that I think also by your mercy, one day also I will get some more deeper realizations and more feelings of our Raghunath Goswami, our Tulsi Manjari, for all our Manjaris. And this hope is so beautiful. Thank you. Go on. The mental service of the sadaka devotees will become very nice. You see? Mm. You see this is the mental service. Going this way and he this has to go that way, it will become nice, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and peace will come. Now we can all feel this because of all the nice sharings. Everybody feels so nice. Change is coming, no? You see in Japan what is happening, miracles. See in the Germany. See in Croatia, it's a start from 10. You see the Russia, all they want to go. They all, they all themselves will start sharing. They themselves realizing. All right? See the Gorakas from the first time I meet in the Devran house, right, Devran? 
Right? Yes, Gurudev, it was so nice. Beautiful. We had he, a beautiful program. Than, he has more than me realization. I become so attracted when I listen to his bhajan, his, his explanation. It touched my heart that I have to learn from him. His feeling is so elevated. I, when I listen to Jananda Maharaj, so many times I learn from him. It's a sharing. It's not a preaching program. It's a sharing program. How much you share, you go in inside. Read more, each other. I will show you more beautiful things. The mental service of the sadhaka devotees will become very nice when they hear and chant the descriptions of these expert services of the acharyas. Yeah. Yeah. The devotee should merge his own thoughts into the thoughts of the acharyas. Wow. When his, he meditates, he merge his thoughts. He is not qualified to do, but he has to merge. He has to feel it that I merge myself there. That is Ashray. If you see Krishna, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Adi Lila, Four Canto, Krishna say, I, I merge to feel the Radha's love. So I want to took the mood of Raji. Chaitanya said, I want Krishna is telling, I want to take the mood of Radhika. Much in that. Means mood of Radhika means I want to be a follower of Radhika. What you do when you take the mood of a spiritual master, you follow that. Merge in that. So Krishna is telling, I want to take the mood of Radhi. Feeling of Radhi is a marching. Right? Right. So Gurudev, interesting, Gurudev. Actually, we say Raga Anuga. Hmm. So, Raga means love and feeling. Mm. Anuga is like a following. Yeah. Say like a say like a someone is walking. Mm. We try to look, you know, try to uh, try to uh, come across. We try to follow. Yeah. Finally, right. I catch it. Catch it. Mm. This this is kind of merging. Yes. This is Raganuga, dear sense. Wow, again, 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 wow. Sometimes you said so beautiful thing that I listen first time, he realizes and come to me first time. Say me again. What is more details explained? Yeah. So actually, we say Raga, Raganuga Bhakti. So, Raga means feeling and love. What kind of love, what kind of feeling we want to follow? Oh. And then the Shastra say, oh, Braja mood. Wow. So, so then the next thing, oh, what kind of Braja mood you want to follow? And then many rasa is there. Sakya rasa, Basara rasa, Madura rasa. 
。おはサキーズバーバー。おはマンジャリズバーバー。おはキンカリズバーバー。So, what kind of barber you want to a n u g a You want to follow? So, Guru Dev is saying, so we should fix one point and try to find the ideal person. So, we are following this Ragnar Das Goswami, Lati Manjari, or Torashi Manjari. So, we are listening this, this Birapax Manjari, and then we try to follow this Ragnar Das Torashi Manjari's mood, Torashi Manjari's feeling. So we want to follow, 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 follow meditation, listening, hearing, meditation, follow. Then finally catching. That is magic. That is kind of perfection of our Swarupa Beshi. Yeah, oh, that is beautiful. Beautiful. Honestly. You are right, I feel today. From three, four, five years, I am re- listening to this book, and every day I think the new thing I am listening. It's never become to change anything or any, any, anything. It's a fresh every day, it's coming out. This v i l a p k u s a m a n j a l i is so fresh. In And so new thing is coming in every line you cannot imagine. And Radha Rasudhani. Radha Rasudhani is to Easternista and Vilap Kusum Manjali is for the Sarupavish. So, how to fix my Kingiri Dasi Manjali Bhav? Not deviate in Saki and other Bhav. This is so perfectly is helpful in life. I cannot explain it. You are right, I agree with you. This is m a r g i n to follow you. There. Thank you. The devotee. Should merge his own thoughts. Oh, own thoughts also. <laughs> Into the thoughts of the Acharyas. Yeah. When he meditates on his devotional service. Yeah. r a d e r a d e Gurudev, it came to me now. Why it's so difficult to merge the thoughts, to merge the heart with the heart of the Acharya? Uh-huh. This is the key point of spiritual success, but it's also so difficult. Because I don't want to leave my independence. And my mind, or maybe say, my heart is hankering for this goal, but my mind is going in the opposite way. I still want to be independent. I didn't sign, and I cannot. Develop my spiritual life further to the ultimate goal. This is my ne- unfortunate. Because to merge my thoughts in the thoughts of Acharya, I need the pure heart. And this is for me. That's the reason why it's so slow and gradual processes. But like Suniti said, I have a hope against hope. Can I say in this subject? Please, Guru. 
I, I, when I read Bhagavad Gita 10, 10 of Prabhupada, then he say, when I assign with Krishna, then slowly and slowly, I know my higher goal. You can see that. Or the ultimate goal. Ultimate goal. Slowly and slowly. Why he says slowly and slowly? Because when I sign with Krishna, what happened? I sign to know the super soul and soul. Right? But I know sign to be a mantra. No? Until I am I'm in the soul consciousness, still I am controlled with the super soul, and my independence will not go till I know to the shelter of Radhika 100%. And the moment I have agreed for this, then what will happen? Then my saru will slowly, desire will come, greed will come for my saru. Then the acharya words will become very helpful to how to take, get this saru avish. Without this, is uh, also you see the last line of Prabhupada by the what is that line? That giving potency. Yeah. To take uh, our normal position is when we take shelter in the pleasure giving potency. Yeah. When we take the shelter in pleasure giving potency, we become normal. Before I am not normal because independence is there. It's the nature of the soul. Till Salub will not come, I will be not normal. Because I, I am independent because part and parcel of the super soul. It's the nature of the soul. Because it's a super soul nature. Hmm? See that? The normal condition come by mercy of Radhika. <laughs> this is our position. Radhika has to take control. Yeah? Radhika has to take control. Radhika Not has to. Uh -huh. Right there. Yeah. I have to become baby cat. That's the mother, mother, mother take care of me. Total surrender. If not, if anything is in my control, then she not care. Narayan Maharaj say, or oh, do you need greed for that? Greed has to come for that. Right? Gaurasundar. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. When the transcendental vision vanishes, Sri Raghunatha prays as follows for devotional service. Then he comes to the Then he comes to the Samol is a devotee. He comes to Sadhana there. But Sadhak Deha, he also becomes Chhatrahi. 
सेवा साधक रूपेण सिद्ध रूपेण छात्र ही इज ऑल्सो अम्ब्रेला ऑफ राधिका इज सो इन साधक रूपेण व्हाट ही डूइंग रघुनाथ दास गो स्वामी यू सी अगेन वॉन्ट टू गो बैक वेन अ ट्रांसेंडेंटल विजन बनिशेस श्री रघुनाथ दास प्रेज एस फॉलो फॉर डिवोशनल सर्विस O oh, restless eye Sri Radhika I pray to you let me fill up a jug with nicely scented water and blissfully make you drink this water after eating then I will help you to flush your mouth with camphor scented water. Place a twig for brushing your teeth in your lotus like hands and serve you mouth water again. after enjoying your pastimes of eating you will be very satisfied and give me a reward in the form of your food remnants i will stay by your lotus feet and serve you in so many ways das goswami anxiously cries when he prays like this oh tara lakshi restless eyed girl When will the time come when I can offer you sweet drinking water scented with fresh roses and camphor for flushing your mouth along with a twig for brushing your teeth yeah. Yeah. Who if they are waiting for the theater play? Yeah. It's too cold. Ah, uh, yeah. This man. I cannot leave this. राधे राधे सुने थे वी विल सी दिस ऑन जूम दिस थिएटर प्ले और नॉट यस एक्चुअली पॉपी नॉट वाज हियर एंड ही सजेस्टेड दैट वी टेक द जूम देयर ओके बट आई डोंट नो हाउ दिस विल टेक्निकली वर्क आई विल आस्क हिम यू जस्ट कंटिन्यू Samaye, what's up, Samaye? Can you unmute, Mike? Yes, thank you. No, take it. This. If it has to come, it will come. Go, go. 
Yeah. So, yeah. Is there some devotees who has a question, some little question? Lokesh? Yeah. But Mogu? Možeš, short, short question, yeah. A nije question, samo noćešna realizacija i uspa Boža. I have one realization from tonight because it's a Christmas and I want to share it. Stimulirali ste me, pa sam zato inače sam u dvojbi da ne. You stimulate me because I was doubtful should I share it or should I not but somehow you stimulate me to share it. Božić je i ja sam objavio na svom postu Često nešto objavim, a noća sam objavio nešto oko Isusa i njegove pojave i sva rupa, ali sam to pojačao sa Sadu Maharadža i konstatacijama i njegovim učenjem. Na Facebooku? Da. On the Facebook I posted something about Jesus and also I put some explanations of Sadu Maharadža Uh, about uh, Jesus Swarup, so I did that, and I onda sam išao spavat, i onda me probudilo, onda me probudilo to što želim podijeli s vama, pa mi nemojte zamjeriti jer sam još uvijek pod dojmom toga i ovog što ste vi prije toga govorili. I am very impressed. Uh, still, I'm very impressed because of my dream, and uh, I would like to share it. Našao sam se negdje u Indiji, blizu Vrađe, i čekao sam na nekaki prolaz, i onda je došao jedan svetac, i pitao me kuda ćeš, a ja sam mu odgovorio. I was in India, very close to Vrađa. And uh, I met one saintly person who asked me, where do you want to go? Uh, <laughs> a ja sam mu rekao, a molim te, ja bi čajtanja i rada. <laughs> and I answered, I want to go to čajtanja and rada. Uh, onda je više nikog nije bilo i onda sam odlučio sam da idem u Vrindava. And uh, everything disappeared, so I decided myself to continue to go in Vrindavan. Jasno mi je prvi put u snu da sam se de decidirao da oču radu i čajtanju. Prvi put u snu, od kad sve snove pamte. And uh, this dream is significant for me because I decided very strongly that I what I really want, Chaitanya and Radha. I didn't define my Kinkari form, but... I didn't And But somehow I understand that I got the mercy from Jesus on this specific day, Uh, to develop my Swarup. Hvala ti, Sadu Maharaj, ti si mi puno pomoga. Thank you very much, Sadu Maharaj, you helped me so much. Rade, rade. Without relation? And without feeling Swarup not come? And one thing more, association also important. Who is, uh, who had the greed for that? Thank you for understanding this. One thing more I want to say. 
I want to share. My Gaurasundra can say something from the Bible. Today, keep it here, but I like this. So we have to read this also. Listen to this. Gaurasundra, he find one nice St. Paul's sharing about the love. So please listen that. And then I will say what I like more. I will say, no, sit there. It will turn that side. You take this. This one? Yeah. <coughs> Radhe, Radhe. No, no, take it near to you. More, more close. So yeah. like this. Yeah. Radhe, Radhe. Merry Christmas to all of you. Jai Shri Radhe. So nice to meet you. Yes, because of Christmas, I we sometimes share something from the Bible also. <laughs> and Gurdiv and me, we like very much just the way of love. And so sometimes we read this. And St. Paul is, is writing in one letter to the people in Corinth. Corinth is somewhere in the Middle Sea. And he wrote about the way of love. There he speak. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging symbol. And if I have prophecy, powers, prophetic powers, and understand all mysterious and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. This is also like the Creator feels without Radhika. He can move mountains to everything, creation, but without Radhika, he feels empty. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will kiss. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For we knew in part, and we prophesy in part. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. Now comes a beautiful thing, also good if explain this in a beautiful way. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I become a man, I give up childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. 
Before I was in face to face. Now that you have to explain. No, it was so before beautiful. I was seeing face to face when I was a child. But my mirror become dim because I grown up with my ignorance. I cannot see even my face. I cannot understand who I am. So beautiful, huh? Last line. It's very beautiful. Face to face. Now I knew in part. Then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. So at the last, face, hope, and love abide, these three. But the greatest of these is love. You see? Prem Prayoja. Prem Prayoja. Prem Prayoja. St. Paul, he was a real... Rasik, Rasik realized person, no? Disciple of Jesus. Radhe, Radhe. Okay. Yeah, thank you. You see? This is my Radhika. This is Radhika. And you see, you read Bhagavad Gita, how many Adhyas are there? Chapters. How many chapters in Bhagavad? Bhagavad Gita. Huh? How many? Sixteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Eighteen chapters. So, all chapter what do you think? Karma yoga, jnana yoga, samkhya yoga. Raj yoga, other yoga, all teaching, right? But there is also one chapter, is a bhakti yoga. And this is, you know, six slokas are there. Bhakti Yoga, 6, 13, 14 to 20. And we now try to go deep in six slokas of Bhakti Yoga, but we are doing Bhakti Yoga. Similarly, Bible, many things are there, but what is the reality? to catch it, that is in few lines is written and all the scriptures. And then our Acharyas Mahajan, who took the center of Chaitanya, they explain more details to us. Same thing. This is the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and our Rupa, Sanatan and Raghunath Goswami. Yeah. One day, one slok is in Chaitanya Chaitanya. Everybody will say that. What is that? One day you say, huh? Which one would it? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, Anapita Charim Charaka Yavatin Kala, or this one. Uh -huh, yes. He is the most. Uh, no, no, it's a sloka I want. Oh. Chait uh, you have? Yes. Yeah, read it. Now, be in Chaitanya Chaitanya. Read, uh, yeah, we got it. We got Read. it. Uh -huh. 
He's not here. I'll read it. Who's, I can read who there? Who is there? Who's he? Jananda uh, Maharaj. You have it? Yeah, he has. Read Jananda Maharaj. You got? You, are unmute. you have to unmute yourself. I got it also if you don't have it. No, not here. Yeah, I have it. Okay. okay. Uh, in English, only English, or bus also? No, bus. You have to explain how you explain that day. <laughs> See the beauty. I he explained me. I was so attracted. This I cannot say. Say explain. Okay. Anar pita chari inchirat karuna ya bitir naha karo. Samarupa itun unna tojuara rasan sua bakti shuriyan. Harihi prat sundara duti kadamba santipita. Sada frida ya kandare spuratu ba shachi nandana. This English translation. May road, may that road, who is known as the son of Shurimati Shachi Devi, be transcendentally situated in the innermost chambers of your heart, splend splendent with the radiance of molten gold. He has appeared in the age of Kali, by his causeless mercy, to bestow what no incarnation ever offered before, the most sublime and radiant spiritual knowledge of the mellow taste of his service. So, after reading this translation many times, this English translation is not clear for me. And then I have read Anantadas Baba's, I think, Lhasa Darshan, or maybe Kunjabi Haridas book. Then I understood. What does this mean? So, Unna to Unna to Ujiwara Ujiwara Rasan. So, what do you mean Unna to Ujiwara Rasan? So, no, no other incarnation give that rasa. So what kind of rasa? In this Prabhupada translation is, is like hiding. So Unna to Ujiwara rasa is like a Madura rasa, like a radiant. But uh, no other incarnation give us this rasa. Actually, Saki Baba describes before. And like a, like a, uh, say like a Bhagatam uh, describes or as a scripture describes, like a Vedas personified become gopi. And, 
ラーマチャンドラパースタイム、サム、サム、セイント、ルッキングフォー、ラーマチャンドラ、ゼー、ウォント、デザイアト、マリッド、ラーマチャンドラ、エンゼン、ゼー、ビカム、ゴピー、ホエン、クリシナ、アピアド、エンゼス、エンゼスワールド。And Jayadeva Goswami also described something, or Chandidas, or other devotee describe, may describe Saki Baba. But nobody describe this Manjari Baba. So this Manjari Baba, Kinkari Baba, This Unna to Ujwal Rasa is actually Manjari Baba or Kinkari Baba. Yeah. So, and then I, I could, and then all meanings make, make us very clear. And Chaitanya Charitamita ask, actually describes Radha's Chaitanya Mahaprabhu become, uh, Krishna become, Krishna want to taste, Krishna want to know Radha's Baba, or Krishna want to taste Radha's feeling, Krishna want to know what's, a, what's beauty, what to taste in Krishna's Swarup. So, Krishna want to know And taste, and then Krishna become Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Krishna took, Krishna steal the feeling of Srimati Radhika. Also Krishna took the color of Srimati Radhika. So we are thinking, oh, Mahaprabhu just tasting Radha's Baba. And who knows this Radha's Baba? Who knows? Or who's tasting this Radha's Baba? Anya. This is actually Manjari, Kinkari, because they are feeling merge into Radha's feeling. So, therefore, actually, Chaitanya Charitamita is describes Radha's glorification and Radha's feeling and indirectly or sometimes directly describes Manjari's feeling, Man, how Manjari is tasting this bar. This is Unna to Ujwara Rasa. This is, <laughs> I, this, this feeling come into my heart after hearing, after reading Anandas Baba's book. And then I disclose to Gurudev. <laughs> so, My explanation, my explanation. Proud, not proud, 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 proud of all of you. That crystal clear has to happen in our life. So, do you want to say? No, Guruji, by this new, I want to, wow. that I see you. So. All Saturday, my God. The <laughs> ocean of love today. This is the uh, love We have to this part. Brother Radha Gurudev. Yeah. I want to share something which I read yesterday in Chaitanya Charitamrita, which yeah. is supporting Jayanada's words. Yes. And yeah. Prabhupada is mentioning the words of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. 
Today I know that you also researched uh, in the books, and Jananda Maharaj, two researchers are there. <laughs> you, he is also Pandit, and you are also Pandit in Croatia. To, to, when he was in Scorn, you also researched many books, and he also researched many books. Gurudev, I am not researching. <laughs> I no, no. am addicted. I am no. addicted to the Chaitanya Charitamrita. <laughs> okay, okay, then go. <laughs> I forgot everything what I researched, but I am very addicted to Chaitanya Charitamrita. Okay, sir. <laughs> so which bus? Which bus? Yes, I will tell you, Jananda. Okay. It's. Uh, uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya, verse uh, chapter 14, verse 96. Mm -hmm. So, it is said in previous words in 95, it is described how, how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu every day in Jagannath Puri was going to Gundicha during the festival of Rata Yatra. But now in this verse 96, it is said, accompanied by his devotees, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then went into the garden and enjoyed the pastimes of Vrindavan. Wow. And now it's a very interesting commentary which Prabhupada put, and this is the words of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. He is saying, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur has pointed out that this Vrindavana Vihara pastimes of Vrindavana doesn't refer to Krishna's mixing with the gopis or the transcendental mellow of parakiras Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Vrindavana Lila in the garden of Jagannath Puri didn't involve association with the women or other people's wives in the fashion transcendentally demonstrated by Sri Krishna. In his Vrindavan Lila, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu conceived of himself as the assistant of Srimati Radharani. Yeah. Oh. When Srimati Radharani enjoyed the company of Krishna, he means in Kundicha, her maid servants were very pleased. And one should not compare Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Vrindavan Lila in the garden of Jagannath with the activities of Goranga Nagaris. This is another point. So he is mentioning here that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when visited Gundicha, he was very happy to see Radha and Krishna in intimate pastimes. And after that, he went in, in the gardens around and the lakes around. And with his associates, he performed the Lila's pastime of bathing, joking, playing, singing. And Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati is mentioning here, but this is not the mood of Krishna who is playing with gopis. This is the mood of Radha Dasi, oh. which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu conceived. Because they are so happy, and he is so happy in Manjari mood, that Radhika and Krishna saw together. Yeah. Jai Ho. So, not to say a little bit, is okay? Please. So, after hearing Goranga Sundara Pab's explanation, 
one, one feeling is coming out. Actually, in this Puri's La Teatra Festival, La Teatra Festival means it's supposed to Radhika bring to, to Jagannatha to Brindava. This is ordinary explanation. But actually, actually, Manjari is helping to meet Radha and Krishna. Uh-huh. Means Manjari try to meet Mahaprabhu <laughs> to, to Jagannath. So actually, Jagannatha Ratiatra Lira is not only Gopi's explanation. No, actually, it describes also Manjari Baba also. This, today I, I got to this feeling. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for this beautiful sharing. So Mahaprabhu in Manjari Bhav bringing to Gundicha, right? Yes. Wow. This is Rupa, Rupa Nuga's explanation. <laughs> wow. So good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Definitely. Thank you. Very nice. It's so beautiful happen. We, we, go. we cannot do by sitting together for one hour. <laughs> it's a surprise happening, Debra. This is all your mercy. You bring me Kurishya. Yes. My <laughs> dear, this is all your mercy. Thank you very much, Deva Pranapabu. <laughs> <laughs>